Oh! Oh, snap! Oh! Come back! All right, everybody, sit down. And what do you want? Come on, man, I gotta get out of here. I, I just need you to boost me up, just oh, like right that here. that razor wire fence. Yeah, it's not that bad, I can make it. You have lost your mind. Come on, man, I gotta get out of here. Oh, that razor wire fence. Yeah, I, I need you to be right here and just boost me up. Come on, just, I need your help, I gotta You're get out. Ridiculous. But... Yeah, no, dude, this rain sucks. All right. Why not? You afraid we'll take all your stuff? Yeah. What are you in here for? There's no dangerous weapon. Yeah, can't you tell? <laughs> what kind of weapon they get you for? Yeah, what was it? A bazooka? <laughs> Why are you packing that sort of heat? He needs it when he goes grizzly bear hunting in the yeah. gray northwest with his daddy. <laughs> Is that it? Is that what you need it for? Yeah, that's good news, Holden. You yeah, have play Texas Hold'em? Nah, his dad don't let him play with guns. <laughs> shut up! You shut up, honky! Both of you shut up. See what he's got on him. Good idea. Yeah. Get off. Hey, man, let's see what you got on you. What what's you in got? your pocket? Why won't you let me get in there? Oh, what's this? A note. That's cute. Get back, boy. Man, right, get Break up. it out! Congratulations, gentlemen. That's solitary confinement for all of us. Dear Clarence, I know things have been tough lately with me going through chemotherapy, but you've been so strong and mature through these past couple of months. When I leave, you're going to have to be extra strong to be able to look after your father and sister. I am so proud of you and can't even stress it enough. Your sense of humor is what kept me smiling when I was experiencing pain. You took the pain away because you were the light of my world. Remember, Though I will be gone physically, my spirit will still be with you no matter what, always. Remember that for me. I love you, 
and sometime in the future we will be able to experience that serenity we once shared as a family together. May all your dreams come true, my son. Love, Mom. Bailiff, would you please uh, retrieve Mr. Hamilton? If I could have Clarence Marmol approach the bench, please. Mr. Marmol, according to my notes, you have charges against you for unruly behavior, aggravated assault, and resisting arrest. Mr. Cabus, would you be so kind as to give us your account of what happened? Mr. Marmel was taking his final exam in my classroom when I caught him with a small cheat sheet on his desk. When I confronted him with it, he proceeded to elbow me in the face. Mr. Marmel uh, tried to flee the school officer. Uh, at that point, he was handcuffed and escorted to the juvenile detention hall. I believe he's on drugs. Are you on drugs, Mr. Marmol? Man, I feel stupid. Dude, let me read it. Mr. Cabus, is this behavior unusual for Mr. Marmol? No, but uh, I don't know how long he's been taking the drugs. Has the court issued you a drug test, Mr. Marmol? And have you passed that drug test? Yes. Guess it wasn't the drugs then. Mr. Marmol, did you assault your teacher? Oh, I suppose you weren't cheating either. He wasn't. You will need to keep your mouth shut or you will be removed from this courtroom. He was cheating. I caught him with a small cheat sheet and he assaulted me. I've got the bloody nose to prove it. I didn't mean to. Excuse me, Mr. Marmel? I didn't mean to elbow you in the nose. You surprised me. I'm sorry. You're sorry. That's great. I suppose you accidentally cheated as well. He wasn't, Man, he wasn't even cheating. Bailiff, I need you to remove this young man from my court. He said he was sorry about hitting you in the face. He closed. No, man, this is crap. Man. Get your hands off me. I will have order. Order. I demand ben, order in my court. Bailiff, wait one minute with Mr. Spangen. I think I need to see this note. That wasn't a question, Mr. Marmol. Please hand the note to the bailiff. Well, if you want to know the answers to the test, I mean, I can tell them to if you want to know them Mr. that badly. Mr. Davis, please. Going to drop the unruly charge. What? I mean, I've got Mr. Cabus. Please, Mr. Cabus, one more outburst from you, and you will be leaving this court in a jumpsuit. <laughs> Mr. Spangen, Mr. Sauer, I'm going to let you off this time with a warning. Do not test my patience. The session is over. Thanks, guys. Yeah, no, no problem, problem, man. We figured you probably had somewhere better to be anyway. Yeah, but hey, man, till then, got anything to bet with? Some cookies or something? <laughs> <laughs>